Just download Telugu Stop Android app in Play Store or iOS app in App Store and stay tuned to latest news as it happens. Mumbai, June 8th, a day after the Adapurush teaser was launched at a grand event in Tirupati and garnered over 109 million views on YouTube in 24 hours and the producers of Kartike 2 Feet announced that they will give away 10,000 tickets for free in Telangana. The distribution of the 500 crore rupees Pan India film in the Telugu speaking states has hit a speeder. A major distributor, Dil Raju, has backed out of picking up the rights for the Telugu version of the Prabhas and Kriti Sanum starrer in what is known as the Hyderabad and Uttarandhra regions in the film trade jargon, the latter including major centers such as Vishakhapitnam, Vizinagaram and Srikakulam. This setback comes within a day after it was reported by the trade media that the OTT rights for Adapurush have been sold to an unconfirmed platform. Amazon Prime Video is the punter's favorite for 250 crore rupees. According to Track Tollywood, People Media Factory, PMF, which operates out of Seattle and Hyderabad, has picked up the wholesale rights of the Telugu version for 170 crore rupees. It has sold the Nizam zone to my three movie makers for 50 crore rupees. Six territories of Andhra Pradesh have been bought for 50 crore rupees, while the ceded districts, Karnul, Kadapa, Chittur and Anantapur, have gone for 17.50 crore rupees. That leaves the People Media Factory with a whole of 52.50 crore rupees and Dil Raju is refusing to bite the bait. Does that reflect on Prabhasa's star standing? which hasn't seen much of a reiteration after the two, Bahubali, films, film trade analyst Karan Torani of Elara Capital said that it has more to do with the present state of the South Indian market, which has had quite an unexceptional first half in 2023 after the box office mega successes of, RRR, KGF 2 Feet, Pony and Selwyn 1, Vikram, and, Kantara, last year, in the Telugu market especially in the recent months, another Prabha starrer, Radhe Shyam, and the Samantha Rath Prabhu film, Shakuntalam, are among the films that have turned out to be commercial duds, despite the hype accompanying their release. Even the Nani starrer, Dasara, which is at number 13 on IMDb's list of the 25 top grossing movies of January to June 2023, hasn't made the kind of money that an RRR, or a Pushpa. The rise, raked in, Torani red flagged a development that is still not being much spoken about. South Indian content has been facing serious trouble in the last six months, he said. The occupancy in theatres is down by 25-30%, to 30%, compared with pre-COVID levels. If the footfalls don't come, films won't be able to recover their cost. That explains why distributors are playing it very safe. The Adapurush makers, however, can rest easy, for they have recovered most of their production costs from the OTT deal and the sale to People Media Factory. Talking about the reported OTT deal, Torani said, OTT contracts are generally pre-sold and it's not easy to breach those contracts in the event of a poor performance of a film. He, however, added a caveat, having said that, there could be a clause in the streaming deal with regards to the theatrical performance of a film, Subject to how the producers and streamers have locked the deal. In such cases the streamers say that only when the film reaches a certain threshold in theatres, the overflow or a certain amount of money can be given to producers, specifically on, Adapurush, Torani predicted. The opening will be phenomenal but sustaining it might be a problem. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to channel and click on bell for more daily videos.